Hey, Superstar, it's Gavin Speaks. Now, we've been taught that making money is hard. It's challenging. We've got to work hard for it. We've got to exchange our time and energy to make money. But in actuality, that's not facts. And we need to program our subconscious mind to acknowledge and realize that actually money is a renewable resource. Money doesn't require our time and energy in order to make it. And we can actually grow abundance in our lives by tuning into the frequency of contribution. A lot of people think when it comes to making money, you need to focus on the money. So if you've got any affirmations or visualizations or vision boards where it's focused on the energy of money, chances are you're going to repel it. Money is almost like a feminine energy. It has a masculine side to it, but there's a feminine side to it where if you want it, it will escape you, okay? And the more you want it, the more it will run away and escape you. It's almost like a cat, right? A cat is a feminine dynamic, right? If you try and call a cat, right? And you try and make it come, hey, come cat, right? It's just gonna run away and ignore you, okay? When you don't acknowledge the cat, right? You don't focus on the cat, the cat comes, right? Have you ever noticed that? Right, when you're just in your energy, when you're in your element, the cat comes. It's the same with women as well. If you, if a man chases a woman in a heterosexual preference and you chase the woman too much, the woman is repelled and she wants to run away, all right? However, when the man is in his abundant, confident state and he's not seeking or looking for anything from the woman, and approaches the woman, the woman is more likely to receive, all right? Because there's no energy or holding on to or attachment or obsession or whatever it is. And most men come with the intention of sex, come with the intention of wanting to get the telephone number, and so the woman can feel that and it's running away. Money has the same energy. And so when it comes to a man approaching a woman, if it was about contribution and what you can give, then now she's feeling like she's receiving something. It's more of a beautiful, harmonious experience because the woman is a receiver, all right? And if you try to take her number, if you try to take sex or you use the energy of taking sex or taking her number, now she, her dynamic is not correspondent with that. She has the, uh, the yoni, right? The yoni goes inward, right? Meaning the woman is a receiver, right? And the masculine points outward, right? External, which is the, means the, the man is the giver, right? Gives, right? Now that's in the, the spiritual, you know, more in spiritual sense. And so with, with money, with uh, approaching a woman, right? If, you're, if the intention is to focus on giving something, like I have value, I have confidence, right? And you are going to experience my confidence and what I have to give. She can feel that in your beingness. Now, when it comes to money, this is the same approach that you need to have, right? I'm confident with money. I am value, I have value, right? You have the value, you're contributing. And so now money can't escape you, right? Now, obviously the better and better you get with money, the more you're gonna attract. The better and be better you get with a woman, the more you're going to attract. And so if you want an abundance of money in your life, you need to figure out how you can contribute, how you can give, right? And one of the things I talk about is adding more value to self. Because in life, you know this, that when you go to school and you get an education and you get a certain degree or qualification or PhD or Reiki certificate or pranic healing certificate or this healing modality, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming on EFT or something like this, you will now have a qualification which entitles you to go and receive more money so as long as you set yourself up to receive it, okay? And the problem that people have is lack of confidence. They have all these certifications, they have the qualifications, they have the PhD and all of this stuff, 
but for some reason they can't get the job, right? For some reason they're not making progress in their finances. Why is this? It's missing the confidence dynamic, which is seeing the worth that you have, seeing the value that you have. I had a talk in my live call uh, with my group uh, last Saturday and one of the women I was speaking to, I asked, she, she had an issue making more than $5,000 a month. Okay, there was like some sort of block there, right? And the question I asked her is if you earned, okay, and I used the word earned specifically, $10,000 per month, then why would you want to give it away? Okay, because she had this issue with, you know, giving money away and stuff, right? And so a lot of us don't realize the work that we've done in our lifetime, the, the schooling, the qualifications that we have, the, the Reiki certificate, the NLP certificate certification, the practitioner course, this and that. We don't realize that that is value. I now have a new skill set. I have specialized knowledge at something. Fair enough, I might not be an expert like Gavin Speaks right now, or I might not be an expert like this person or that person, but I have some value and I need to go practice that and I need to go and contribute and give so I become better at it over time. Naturally, we feel uncomfortable with taking money from people because we feel like it's taking. And when, when we think about learning how to walk or learning how to talk or learning our ABCs, we got no issues with learning and growing in that way. But when money is involved, it's almost like, well, I can't, you know, sell my coaching program. I can't do this. I can't do that because I don't have the experience yet. We, we tend to move the needle, right? We tend to push the line with ourselves and procrastinate, make excuses by saying, I need something else. I need something else. I need something else. I need something else before I can have the money and have the success. It's a form of procrastination. It's a form of self-sabotage, right? Instead, we need to make money where we're at, okay? <laughs> and realizing that there's always someone that knows less than you. So if you're in like a Reiki practitioner, for example, well, why not charge, when you're first starting out, charge one to five dollars. What, what is the smallest amount you feel you can make, right? That you feel comfortable in asking for? Maybe it's a dollar. Yeah, I'm only gonna charge a dollar, right? Go, go and do that, right? It might sound silly, but go and do that to show your subconscious mind it's okay to make money. Then go to $5, then go to $10 and build it up over time. Basically what I'm saying, if you're a Reiki practitioner or whatever practitioner, right? And you wanna create financial freedom for yourself, you wanna make more money and all of this stuff, you gotta stop moving the needle, right? And start where you're at. Start now, charge $1, right? Then charge $5. $10, you know, most of, most of the time we focus on these big, large sums of money and then we procrastinate on it and we have this resistance against doing it. So you're fighting against your subconscious mind and sometimes, you know, that doesn't work. And so we got to figure out how can I start with where I'm at without making the excuse or creating the identity that I need more in order to be experienced so I can take action towards my dreams, goals, and the things I want to manifest into my life. And so basically, when it comes to making money, we all we have to do is give more than we expect to get in exchange for the money. And what I mean by that is you, if you're charging a dollar and you're providing a one hour coaching session or Reiki session or whatever it is, don't you think that one hour is more valuable than the one dollar that that person is giving you? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, right? And so once you keep on doing this, right, you're gonna get gain more and more experience. You're gonna get better and better Reiki. You're gonna become more intuitive. Just I'm just throwing out examples here, right? And then you're gonna be like, oh, I'm actually getting really good at that. I'm getting some good feedback and getting testimonials, right? All right, I can charge ten dollars or thirty dollars now, or fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, and you keep on going up and up and up until you're at a price point where it's good for the marketplace, it's affordable, and you get repeat customers and all of this stuff. That's something that you have to figure out later on down the line. But for right now, just focus on the little things. 
where you can make progress. And I'm talking about tangible progress, not progress in terms of, oh, I'm, I'm gonna get another qualification, I'm gonna focus on this, I'm gonna get that this thing, I need to put this in place, I need to have the perfect logo, I need to have the website, I need to have this, I need to, I need to, I need to. This is all forms of procrastination. I can tell you right now, I've made six figure income without a website, without a logo. You don't need this stuff, okay? You need to know how to have some, a skill set and then how to demonstrate that skill set to the marketplace so that they will give you money in exchange for that skill set, okay? And that takes having number one, the skill set, number two, having the confidence to share that skill set with others. How do you develop the confidence? You develop the confidence by charging $1, right? Or $5 or whatever your lowest threshold is, right? You charge low, get people on board, right get the testimonials and all this stuff start building your confidence around it just like you would learn how to walk you're wobbling a little bit or riding a bike you're wobbling right you need your training wheels it's not perfect when you first start out anything whether you're starting a new job or new career or learning to ride a bike or learning to swim or karate or skating you're wobbling right it's the same with your business it's the same with your youtube channel it's the same with the coaching thing you want to do. It's the same as speaking on stage. It's the same as starting your nails business, your hairdressing business, your whatever business it is, all right? It's the same thing. You're going to be wobbling. No matter what, you're always going to be wobbling. There's never going to be, maybe, you know, in some cases this might be, but for the most part, it's never going to be perfect straight out the gate. And so why not start off small and ease into it, right? Ease into it. Do what feels natural rather than saying, hey, it's the new year. I'm going to set a new year's resolution. I'm going to set this big goal to make this and that and whatever. And then you're rah, rah into yourself. And then you end up starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. Or starting and giving up, right? And this is procrastination. This is self-sabotage. And it keeps you uh, self-loathing and beating yourself up. And you're wondering why you can't follow through on your goals, be consistent over the long run. All right now there's many other aspects to that like dopamine when it comes to consistency dopamine and, and knowing how to take action in your environment and all this stuff but ultimately it's not about getting it perfect it's about getting it started because when it comes to success it's about the journey right it's about who you become through the journey towards success it's not about the destination of making money making money is not about making money right? Having financial freedom is not about financial freedom. It's about who you become in the process to financial freedom. Does that mean say all the things you have to learn, the way you have to grow, you have to expand, you have to learn the YouTube, you have to learn the this, you have to learn the that. It's the person you become during the process and you become a completely new person. The Gavin that you're watching right now is not the Gavin that was 10 years ago. I'm completely different. I grew up in the ghetto, right? Now there's a, I still have that ghetto side to me. It's still in there. But what I'm saying is I'm a completely different person. It didn't happen by accident. It happened because I said, hey, I want to be financially free. I want to start my own business. And one of the hugest blocks that I had is setting these big ass goals and never achieving them. And then I was like, someone told me, hey, go out and make $1, right? And I started doing it. I wasn't, I wasn't charging $1, I was charging $7 for a product. I think it was $9 actually, it was $9. Because, and it was, it was worth way more than that. I charged $9 and started making all these sales. I was like, oh, it was working. And guess what? It gave confirmation bias to my subconscious mind. My subconscious mind saw these cells coming in over and over and over again. And I started to believe or be lie Eve in myself. Believe, be lie. You know, I started to believe. I started to get confirmation bias and see that actually this is working. I can charge more now, you know, and I grew it over time. Now, again, it's going back to realizing perfection is only the universe's job. Perfection is, jo is the job of God. Please stay away from perfection. It's the job of God, it's the job of the universe. The universe is perfection. Please do not try and be the universe. Okay, you are a part of the universe, but you're functioning within the universe. And we want to acknowledge and realize that it's actually better to grow through the journey, is it enjoy the journey and understanding that that is the success. When you take action on your goal, that's the success. That's the success, not the outcome. The outcome is, you know, the end result that the ego wants. By in actuality, 
you taking those baby steps towards success is the success. That's when you need to reward yourself. That's when you need to give yourself that pat on the back. That's when you need to give yourself that reward, right? Not at the end result, in the now. Every day as you're moving towards your goal, Every time you do it, you need to reward yourself. That's what's gonna keep you addicted to the process and taking action consistently over a long period of time and getting the end result that you want, all right? And we can see this with walking. We can see this with riding a bike. We can see this with swimming. You have to grow as a person in order to be consistent at that, to get better at it, to improve at it. It doesn't happen by just trying to get it perfect starting out. It doesn't happen like that. You have to wobble. Okay, learn to wobble, be okay with wobbling. Okay, be okay with stepping out your comfort zone and having a bit of fear and anxiety. That's natural. And we are trained for comfort. I can understand this, that the inorganic ones, the system, the way that things are headed is making things more convenient and we're just becoming really, really uh, weak in, in a way, right? And we want comfort and security way too much. And that's what keeps us stuck. We need, to, we need to embrace insecurity. We need to embrace the unknown. And as we take action and reward ourselves for action rather than the outcome, we're gonna be more consistent, which leads to contributing more. And as you contribute more, you make more money. If you want to make more money, focus on giving. In order to focus on giving, you have to have confidence. What is confidence? Confidence is taking action over time, start small, build up. That's ego-based confidence. Also witness that there's another type of confidence where your ego disappears and you are now in your soul energy and you're aware of the ego. That's another form of confidence. Holding God in your heart is a form of confidence. If you're walking around with God in your heart or the universe in your heart or whatever you want to call it in your heart, there's a different kind of confidence. So we've got the spiritual confidence, we've got the ego-based confidence. Now we take action, baby steps towards our goal, okay? Kaizen, it's a Japanese philosophy. Kaizen is a Japanese philosophy meaning small incremental improvement over time. But life is teaching us through the social media that we need to have it now, right? You're seeing all these people on social media that are creating all the success, making money really quickly. Unfortunately, these are the videos that are more popular, right? When you see someone grow really quickly, their channel blows up or whatever it is. This is very rare cases, but it looks huge. It looks like everyone else is doing it because that's what pops, that's what goes viral but it's unrealistic. It's probably like 0.5%, 0.1%, whatever, of the entire population in terms of how quick, you know, you progress into something. Just like playing the lottery is luck in a way, but it doesn't look like luck because that's what's showing on your feed and you're seeing all these people being successful very quickly. Okay, success takes time sometimes. And I know you can manifest it happening quickly, blah, 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 whatever, right? Absolutely. But sometimes you need to be a little bit realistic uh, because then you're hard on yourself when you're not experiencing the same results as, you know, what Jenna or Anderson or Blake, I'm coming at some weird names, <laughs> is doing, Blake is achieving and all this stuff. It took me two years to make my first online sale when I first started my business. Two years of trying. Most people would give up after two years. It took me another two to three years to go full time running my business from home. So five years total. To me, that is not a long time. For a lot of people, for some people, that's a long time and they don't want to work towards their goals for that long. Unfortunately, you're gonna have a huge problem reaching your goals if you think like that, okay? Five years is a short time to make six, six figure income, become a millionaire or whatever your income goal is. It's not a long time. Okay, and it's about who you become in those one, two, three, four, five years. It's about who you become during that process. Does that make sense? It's about who you be, because you become a different person. And it's a beautiful experience to know that you've grown, okay? And so look at all of your achievements for the past, all of the things you've progressed past, the way that you've grown, the way that you've expanded, and use that for your worth and realizing that You've become a new person in life in general. You know, you've grown. And give yourself that self-satisfaction that actually 
I've achieved quite a lot I've, and I've made progress in my life. I ended that relationship, I ended that divorce, I grew into a different person, I got the qualifications that I needed, I went through that course, I bought, I invested in that program, I took the steps towards where I needed to be and I've become a different person for it. But now, you know what, I want to reward myself for the worth that I have within me. You know, the ego-based worth that I have within me, right? I want to reward myself by starting to make money for my passion, my purpose, creating financial freedom for myself, you see. And so I personally love helping people create financial freedom, more financial abundance in my life and helping them manifest money. And one of the ways that I do that is I help people shift their core vibration. And if you can see on screen right now, you'll see a chart and a lot of people resonate at the middle on or low on this chart. And that when you resonate low on the chart, it's a little bit more challenging to manifest more money, more abundance in your life, okay? Especially if you're following something that's more heart-based and you're trying to do your purpose work, it's a lot harder to manifest when you're lower on the chart. And don't get me wrong, you can manifest a lot of money lower on this chart, it's just in an ego-based way, probably from following a nine to five, a career, something like this. But when it comes to doing your business and it's something that's heart-based, okay? And I'm talking about heart-based, not a business just because you're doing it because of money, I'm talking about something that's heart-based, you want to be resonating in the top five frequencies on the chart, all right? So if you want to follow your heart, you want to follow your bliss, you want to follow your purpose work, and you want to make an abundance of money, and you want support in getting there, I suggest getting the free energy reading in the description at alchemyenergyreading.com, where I'll read your energy, find out where you are, and let you know where you need to be, all right? You can get that in the description or go to alchemyenergyreading.com check out my previous video over here and check out my free part series on how to raise your vibration correctly. It's an unlisted secret playlist. The link's also in the description. And remember to keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll speak to you soon. Peace.